going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft episode and that's the most random intro I ever did but uh, who cares right? Anyway welcome back uh, today it's uh, Tuesday I think it's Tuesday or Thursday one of these days I don't I never know really can I don't know if I can break it with that one I don't think I can I need to get myself the, uh, the stone tool let's do it Give me the iron. Definitely need a lot of iron, so we'll definitely have to collect a little bit of materials right now. Which is not fun, but um, we need to get some resources. Resources. I wonder if I was making a strip mine or what was I doing down here? Hmm. Not sure. I did dig down here. Why didn't I find this mine thingy down there? Which was kind of hostile. So I didn't really bother going down because it's, I, think, I think it wouldn't be really a good of idea. Well, we could still dig further down, but I don't know, it's pretty risky, isn't it? I guess we could use the stone to... Uh, it's too deep though. I guess we can just do it like this. And make a, a safe way down. And that will destroy the torch, damn it. too far down and I, the thing is I don't know what's down there anyway if you guys hear a lot of wind in the background there's like this stream weather going on it's like so insane you don't want to know and uh, they expected to uh, well we have like a, in Netherlands we always have a problem with the um, how do you call this like uh, uh, the thing that holds water back uh, you know Netherlands is the dam a dam maybe yeah but uh, you have to keep in mind, uh, Netherlands is actually under the water level, so uh, if the dam for some reason would break, it would basically mean that the whole Netherlands will float under, which is kind of insane. Oh fuck, this is not good. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Quickly build the way out of here, because I don't know what's down here. We don't want to die. This should be good. Right, let me get some torches right now. I didn't see anything. Maybe it's safe, but yeah, I don't have any sounds on, so if it's not safe, I won't hear it. But let me quickly light up the place so we know, uh, yeah, my cat is meowing in the background. He doesn't like the wind too much. Expectable. Nobody likes wind. It's like the worst thing in my opinion. I prefer snow over uh, just wind. I think wind is just annoying. Because when you go on your bicycles, you get blown away so fast, and it's just uh oh, we got a skeleton king there. Let's make him not too angry. Hey, kitty, kitty, what you doing? So there's a lot of copper. I don't really know what you use copper for, but I guess we could make like a little chest here, uh, just in case we do die here. Uh, we don't lose all our stuff that we collect here. So yeah, I think I definitely will do that. So I'm just gonna put my workbench down here. I don't know if anything is behind me. I hope not. But we'll find out soon enough. Let's just make a big chest here. My, uh, my cat is currently fighting the mouse on the bed. I'm gonna store right away all the materials that we collect here so we don't lose too much when we die. All right, should be good. There's definitely a lot of coal here. That's uh, something I wanna collect. Oh man, that looks like a ravine. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's like pitch black there. Oh, that's oil. I think we need oil for something. Yeah, we need it for uh, for build craft. Well, you don't really need it. Well, you kind of need it. Well, we need to get some diamonds as well for uh, making the quarry. Because you need some of the wheels which require diamonds. Which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, we gotta get it, right? So you definitely don't want to fall in there because it's just pitch black and you have no idea how to get out of there if you fall in. So yeah, we also have some Mystic Crafts installed. I haven't really got into uh, a tutorial on that yet. I think it's more important to collect some materials right now because I have nothing. I don't have any diamonds, I don't have any iron. Uh, right now I'm gonna collect more of the, uh, the coal. The reason for that is that we will have some uh, burning materials, especially when we have the quarry. We're definitely gonna need a lot of coal to keep this machine running. Because I think I will use a coal engine to uh, make the quarry. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm kind of excited again. Because I have a lot of cool mods. Should be good times. I see a lot of people just copy like the cast. I actually did copy them a little bit, but I didn't really copy it like the idea. I, co I copied more of some of the mods they they were playing with, and I thought they were pretty cool, and I thought I'd use them. But a lot of people just copy the idea of your cast, like uh, the quest for uh, getting into space to the moon, and I'm like, ah oh, man, come on, really? This is copy paste. I'm just playing my episodes and I'm using some of the mods they use because I didn't know about the mods until I saw their uh, their space adventures. So I thought that's a pretty cool mod and I might use it. Why not? I'm not going to say like I'm going to go to space because I probably won't even reach that when uh, the end is here. So, but hey, it's a cool mod to uh, work forward for. I always like to, I always like when you have something to work for, and especially gives you a little bit of meaning to the game. Let's just say it like that. So there's a lot of games I definitely want to record, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm lacking time currently, which is really sad and not fun, but I guess you don't always have time, guys. Especially when you're me, you always have a busy schedule. Good thing in the end of December, I will have one and a half week free, which is so awesome. I haven't been free in so long. Oh man, I can't wait for it. I've been work you have to keep in mind I work 10 hours a day so it's when you get free it's like oh man this is amazing uh, it's not that I always work 10 hours a day it's more like uh, when when there's busy times at work we have to work 10 hours but this year we only have three weeks where we start at 8 o'clock oh there's a skeleton get out of here oh, oh. Oh, yeah. uh, this year I only started like three weeks long on eight o'clock the rest i worked on six o'clock but i don't really like to work over because in our country it's so shitty system uh, i mean when you work over i think in my opinion every money should be yours because you work over it. it's like overwork is not necessary but you do it anyway so i think all these salaries should be for you right i mean why not but in our taxes it's such a shitty system that we even make less money than if we work normal hours that makes sense right that makes sense no it doesn't the tax just takes everything when you work over in our country it's such a bullshit but hey that's our system here we can't do anything about it well we can i'm trying to vote a different party that uh, will make everything better for us but um, so far no luck because stupid people just keep voting stupid parties come on think I really don't get some people, but hey, they I think maybe my party is too bad or something. Well, I don't care. I'll keep voting it. I will. I, I won't, because I think if you don't vote, you have no right to say anything about anything. That's my opinion, because you didn't vote. You didn't let your voice be heard, so uh, you have no opinion. That's why you need to vote, guys. You need to make your opinion heard. If you don't, then stupid parties will win and you will not disagree with them. Uh, disagree, I mean, agree with them. Oh, I already recorded 10 minutes, oh my. I've just been doing shopping and it's, uh, it's been okay. It wasn't uh, the, good, the good thing is at the moment there's a Dutch holiday which is called Sinterklaas, which is basically like a party war for children. It's not a party, it's more like uh, there's this this guy with a beard and he comes at your door and he's gonna give all the children presents and he has like these uh, these guys working for him, they are like black and red lips. I don't know what the uh, idea behind that was but uh, it's a tradition here and yeah, even uh, a lot of uh, like uh, black people in our country, they were complaining that uh, it's racist. And I really don't know if it's racist or not. I mean, it's a tradition in Netherlands. I've been growing up with it, so I really have no opinion about it. I think it's uh, kind of a dumb party, but I guess it's left fun for children because I remember when I was little and uh, Santa, the uh, 
Sent a class came to our house. Uh, I was always uh, I always could not wait until he uh, rang the bell. And then there always was like this big sack with all presents for children. And I always thought this was such an amazing guy. And I think it's good. I definitely think it's a Christian uh, thing because you know why? Because the uh, Santa Claus actually has like a cross around it. How the hell did I die in one freaking hit? Oh god. Oh no, I don't know where the fuck I went. Uh, are you serious? These are the times that I want to rage quit. Do I have to start all over again? Because I have no idea where I went. Perfect. Where did I go? I don't remember. Ah, there it is! Sweet. So if we hurry, we could maybe get our items back. I didn't think I would die in one hit though. I thought I'd, I'd take a little bit of damage and then uh, I could just... But apparently I just keep dying in one hit. And lost all my experience as well. Hey kitty cat! Oh you got your mouse from me again. Every time he plays with the mouse then uh, after he's done playing he brings it to me. And if I do not take the mouse from him, he's, he's gonna put his nails in my fucking leg. Oh, this kitty is so weird. Uh, let me open this. Let me open this door. Yeah, Celix, hello. Don't stand on the keyboard, I'm recording. You can sit on my lap, but don't stand on the keyboard. So we'll close this back up. And we still have the cows in here, so let's go back into the mines. Close that behind us. And let's hurry. Tick, 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 my head bunching against the ceiling. It's all good. Rasta likes it, so uh, that's why I keep it in. Alright, so we should be down there. Take the safe way down. And I think I went over here, and then I got killed. I know it was not the here. Yeah, I think it was here. What are you doing? Not you guys, but my cat is doing something weird. Uh, it was somewhere around here. Damn it, I, I don't know where I went. This is not good. This stuff is gonna despawn. Uh, maybe this way? I don't know. Couldn't get too far. Oh, there it is. There it is, buddy. Everything is still there. Sweet. All the experience as well. No, I think I lost some of the experience there. Oh well. We at least got most of the important stuff back. It's so good. It's so good, damn creeper. They blow like a fucking nuclear bomb. So as long as we lit up this place, we should be safe from all the uh, bloody monsters. Oh, what is that? I just saw something out there. Not sure what that was, but there's light down there, so I'm assuming there is some... Oh, there's a little bat. A little baddie. He doesn't hurt anyone. Or does he? Maybe he eats your brains and devours your soul. What? No idea. Uh, I don't have any stone. I need stone. Craft this, this thing. Okay, let me craft that. I'm definitely addicted to this game called Reg Orchestra 2: Heroes of Stalingrad. Uh, I'm watching a lot of that World War II documentary where I'm coding and stuff, and it always fascinates me uh, what happened back then. And this game is actually really uh, close to uh, what happened back then. You should really try. It's pretty realistic in my opinion for a game at least. I mean, you get shot if you get shot in the leg, for example, you uh, bleed, and if you don't bandage in time, you do die from it. And it's pretty realistic because one bullet can actually kill you if one bullet is to the chest, it's, uh, you're done for. So I think it's kind of realistic in that way. My cat is lying on my lap. Hey kitty, what's up? Oh, I love you. I love my kitties. They have really good life here. They get all the food they want, they can sleep all day. What more do you want? You're watching me play games and keep my lap warm. Yeah, it's always good times. However, they do cost a lot of money. That's one thing I despise, but I think it's worthy. If you uh, get a cat, I don't think you should be. Uh, should not take a cat because it's too expensive. 
But you have to keep in mind it does gonna cost you some money, so it's gonna cost you some money, biatch. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on. So I've been watching like World War Two documentaries of uh, what happened in the Netherlands because I, even though I, I had history class in the Netherlands, we never really talked about what happened in the Netherlands. We just got to heard like that Hitler was a bad man. He, uh, he he killed Jews, blah blah blah, and you never really heard what was happening in the Netherlands. And I did some research, and it was pretty bad what happened because. Uh, the Germans took over Netherlands and then they uh, they took it over in four days which is kind of the same because we didn't really have any resistance back then even today we have like the worst army you can imagine so if somebody would invade our country it would be taken over in a few seconds really uh, but yeah like I said it, still, it took the Germans four days to uh, conquer whole Netherlands and then they uh, made like this threat if you do not surrender your uh, resistance we will uh, bomb one of your major towns and even though the uh, the government back then uh, did did uh, surrender they still bombed the major town uh, it was fully flat all the people died there it was horrible i don't know why they still did it it's, it kind of makes no sense to me because if you think about it hitler kind of wanted to make like a perfect world for uh, for uh, white people like for example uh, aryans uh, how do I say this? Like blonde people, blue eyes. You wanted the perfect uh, world for that. Now, if you if you see in the Netherlands, there's a lot of people like that, and I don't know why they would still bump it. Then it makes no sense. Shouldn't they be like recruiting those people? But I think it's kind of weird. I really don't know what happened. A lot of stuff happened. Really messed up stuff. But yeah, I think I think it's kind of fascinating to know the history because. Uh, I think it's important to know what happened and especially if people like uh, for example talk about it you should know what happened uh, I think history is important however you can have your own opinions about it so yeah uh, the the, uh, the Dutch actually were pretty high into the uh, the German uh, Nazi system as well we had a lot uh, a lot of people are in the SS here uh, like a lot of Netherlands people Netherlands people Dutch people So what I'm meaning was that uh, a lot of Dutch actually joined the uh, the Germans back then and when they got the, the war was over and they were still in the uh, the German army they basically got like sentence of 12 years in prison which wow. What the fuck Are you okay, bro? That scared the shit out of me, man. Fuck. It was like starting all quiet. I didn't hear any wind. And then all of a sudden, this meow, man. Oh, man. It almost gave me a heart attack. I'm like, I didn't even have sound on. What's going on? It's like so quiet now. It's, that makes no sense. There should be storm outside. What is going on? I hear nothing. I hear like a motorcycle, but that's all. But yeah, guys, uh, a lot of stuff happened in World War II. Bad things and good things. You probably won't know what good things. Well, you have to keep in mind that without World War II, a lot of cures would not be existing today. Like, I did some search on it, and a lot of uh, Hitler did a lot of, uh, a lot of experiments on people, and... Those experiments, even today, are still used in modern medicine. What the hell is going on outside? Yeah, I think it's kind of wrong to use that kind of knowledge. But yeah, if it can save people, I mean, why would you not use it? I mean, if you have the research already. Uh, it's only the way they obtain it is kind of quite wrong, but... Uh, yeah, if you have the research, why would not use it? I mean, seriously. If it can see, save people today, then hell, use it. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? I love you. I love you. She always comes to me uh, uh, at night and then she basically lays on my lap. And she doesn't leave anymore. Not that I'm complaining though, I like it. 
before she was really uh, shy and she didn't she never actually got to came to me so I think it's all better now the only downside with the, all the materials is that the, um, the diamonds for example don't seem to spawn that much now also there doesn't seem to be too many enemies around oh what did I say we got a zombie monster here get down boy not today What's up, bro? What you doing, man, bro? What? Let's get rid of that lava. It's gonna take a while. Though. Oh, you're falling off, man. Careful. I should close the lights here. Pop. Dumb. All the lights gone. Gone in 60 seconds. So actually, one of the actors of uh, Gone in 60 Seconds died in a car crash. Pretty sad story, man. I saw like this acid footage. You don't want to see it. It's disturbing. My mind is fucked up, so uh, I can take all that. It don't matter to me. I can see all the same sh shit in the world, and it doesn't matter to me. Because I know my mind is strong, and I can resist everything. That's why I can also watch like. I like horror movies before I go to sleep or something. A lot of people can't because it's too scary and stuff, but I can because my mind is already fucked up, you know? My mind is like, like, like made out of steel or something. What are you doing, kitty cat? Get out of there! Uh oh. Alright, I'm calling it a day, guys, because my cat is going under the bed and as you see, it's not allowed. So, uh, I'll be right back to see you guys tomorrow for another Minecraft episode. See you guys later. Bye, have a great day. Bye.